Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg here today. Bring you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary. What you guys are watching in the background is a 97 to 8 uh, cracked out MP5 rushing around the map. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I wanted to say real quick, I kind of cut out the parts of the gameplay where basically, you know, if I just spawn in and then I die, uh, don't get any kills or anything like that, or just just like some downtime parts that are not uh, while I'm on a kill streak. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you enjoy that, if you think it makes the gameplay more enjoyable to watch or whatnot, so let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, today I want to talk about um, what is the best perks for earning killstreaks, because there are three killstreak earning perks in the game. There is Kill Chain, there is Hardline, as well as Point Man. And I want to go over these perks because I feel that they can be very useful if you know which ones to stack or which ones to run um, and stuff like that, so let's get right into it. So. Point Man, I would recommend if you are playing something like Kill Confirmed, uh, or if you are an objective player, like you're going to be getting capture kills, defends, all that kind of stuff, uh, on domination flags, stuff like that. I would not recommend running it in headquarters, and the reason is because in headquarters, whenever you capture the HQ, if you're not the first one on it, you get no score for the HQ, which is kind of dumb. I don't understand why that, uh, it's that way, but um, they should definitely change that, in my opinion, or they should do something about it. Uh, just because that is kind of stupid and counterintuitive to uh, running point man or even just playing the objective in general since you get no score for it. Um, but yeah, so point man I would say is really good if you're going to be playing the objective in modes like kill confirmed or uh, domination. And even in team deathmatch, it's actually not bad because you get 125 score per kill, which means that each kill streak. Um, is actually balanced in this game into a way around around the team deathmatch score. So basically, every single kill streak is going to be to the respective um, the the score values are going to be the same in TDM as earning the kill streak values. So like the advanced UAV, for example, is 1500 score, but in team deathmatch, it's actually the equivalent of 12 kills because 125 1500 divided by 125 is 12 kills. So basically, I just wanted to point that out real quick that there's no reason like if you don't want to run ghost like. And if you really feel that maybe Point Man might help you out in TDM if you're getting assists and stuff like that, um, there's no reason you shouldn't run it. It's not going to hurt you in any way in Team Deathmatch. So uh, if you do want to shoot down kill streaks and stuff like that as well in Team Deathmatch, like, you know, personal radars and UAVs and all that kind of stuff, it's still useful in that mode to help you earn more streaks. Um, now, Hardline. Hardline is what I'm using in this gameplay, and the reason I was doing that is just to help uh, my teammates earn their advanced UAVs or regular UAVs or whatever the heck they're running. Uh, a little bit easier since I can rush around and I want to play super aggressive and I think hardline is perfect for if you're going to be playing aggressive. I actually paired it with the quick fix perk as my perk 1 so I could play very aggressive. Um, this was something that happened earlier in the day I was playing and we played against this really cracked out MP5 user uh, that ended up dropping 94 kills on us. I still went like 68 and 16 but he ended up dropping like 94 and 20 or something like that on us, just playing super cracked out with the MP5. Uh, very good player, but it made me realize how important Quick Fix is, because he wouldn't have been able to play that aggressive if he wasn't using Quick Fix. So pairing something like Quick Fix and Hardline together, you can play super aggressive and not have to fear, uh, you know, dying off your streaks as much. If you want to run some lower streaks too and pair that with like lower streaks like Hardline and Quick Fix, that's a very good setup because you can play aggressive and constantly, you know, be earning kill streaks since you're likely going to die because you're playing super aggressive um, you can be putting up those UAVs maybe some like precision airstrikes or VTOL jets a lot throughout the game and that can really help out your team um, another one is kill chain kill chain is a perk one and in my opinion you don't really have much to sacrifice if you're gonna be playing defensive for kill chain because EOD you know if you're playing defensive you can kind of outsmart C4 users uh, you can always just run away from a Semtex or a frag so you don't really need EOD um, quick fix of course you don't really need if you're playing defensive because you can pick somebody off pop a stem and then just reappear at your uh, spot that you're kind of patrolling at so I don't really think quick fix is needed if you're gonna be playing defensive um, and then double time obviously you don't need that cold-blooded I mean, if people are getting kill streaks against you, that's a different story. We could always just shoot them down. So I really think the kill chain is like one of the best perks for playing defense, just because you can really rack up some kills. And it's, excuse me, it's best paired up whenever you're using something like a cruise missile, which can help you lead to maybe a VTOL, and then the VTOL can help you lead to like a chopper gunner, a pavlo, a uh, advanced UAV gunship, whatever you know else you want to run. But kill chain is good whenever you're stacking it. Um, basically. 
with other kill streaks that can help you earn more kill streaks. So um, it's also a good choice, and you can even pair that with Hardline or Point Man, depending on what you want to do. If you really want to have a supercharged uh, kill streak loadout, but I think that's a little bit overkill, and especially in this game because once you earn your kill streaks, you can't earn any more. Um, so basically, you have two useless perks once you earn all of your kill streaks, and you don't really want that, right? I would say giving up one perk slot for earning kill streaks is okay. Like if you want to uh, give up a perk one for kill chain, okay, you still have maybe ghost restock or whatever else you're gonna use. Um, but if you are using something like let's say point man, then you can also have like EOD or you can have quick fix. You don't have to run kill chain. You know, you guys get what I'm trying to say here is you don't have to give up too much uh, in order to earn like earn more streaks and just stay alive once you get all those streaks. So. I would say that the supercharged loadout is really only recommended if you're playing solo maybe and you're really just trying to put up those streaks because your team is not very good and you need all the help you can get to try to win those games against the better players that are on the other team or whatnot. That's the only time I can really say that the supercharged loadout is really good. But uh, I would definitely recommend giving Hardline, like I said, a go if you really just want to play super aggressive and you know run some uh, low to mid, maybe even like some high streaks like I would say hardline is really good if you're gonna do like a mid to high or low to mid to high something like that just not all high streaks because that just wouldn't make sense it would make sense to run something that's gonna keep you alive longer like ghost or restock you guys get the point of what I'm saying but uh, yeah point man isn't bad in this game uh, as a lot of people say it is it's actually kind of buff for score streaks compared to other Call of Duty games because of the 125 points in team deathmatch because point man really just in the past score streaks have always been like around objective modes but yeah in this game it works pretty much in any mode except like i said headquarters is kind of counterintuitive but yeah anyways um those are just those perks what i would recommend doing with them and uh i think they're all really good options and you guys should give them a try and see which one you like best like i said i've really been liking hardline lately and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if this helped you in any way or if you just enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new for some more tips and tricks and i'll see you guys later peace